Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video on cargo securement. Seems like I spend more of my time loading and unloading trailers than swinging a hammer. That's just reality right now. I've got a few tips on how to make your load safer and how to strap it down quicker. We'll also make some of these straps look good. We'll go over how to use a ratchet strap, uh, what the proper way is, and things you can do to protect the straps as well. So let's start here. This is the end of the strap. This has got a flat hook on it. We hook it on the rub rail. I like to go on the outside of the rail and back up onto the rub rail itself. This way, if that strap comes loose, that hook will fall onto the rub rail instead of onto the ground. The other way, and this is hard to do by yourself because it'll hang slack until you get the strap tightened, is just to go over and hook it on. It fits a lot better this way, and I feel like maybe it's a safer way to strap it down. Uh, a lot of guys like it the other way. You could debate this back and forth, but either one will do a good job securing the load. This is a ballast box I have on the back of the trailer. I opted to put it back here because I like the angle of the strap. I have the space between the two ramps to use. There's a beam down there. It's one of the trailer supports. And it allows me to put these straps at a much steeper angle as opposed to going all the way over the trailer. It really keeps this ballast box from moving around. It won't go anywhere, especially when it's in the back or on a load where I can't see it. That's important. Another thing I like to use are these plastic corners. In this case, I'm using them to protect the cargo. So this is polyiso insulation board. It's very soft and the straps tend to crush into it. By putting those corners on there, I distribute the weight and it's not as hard on it. If you look over here on this ballast box, I've put little cardboard pieces under the straps in both both locations. There, you can barely see that one. This one actually had to cut down so it would fit uh, in between these two bars where the pin goes. The reason I want to do it here is not to protect the cargo, but because this is a metal box, even though it's powder coated and this weld is pretty smooth, I want to protect my strap from a sharp edge vibrating on the road. I don't want it to cut through the strap and potentially lose the cargo. The other thing on this one, I really like to run a strap through something if I can. So in this case, I've got it through where the top link goes uh, from your tractor. That way, if something does come loose, there's no chance of that thing sliding around. I've even been known to take the slack off the strap and tie it to the box. If it were to come all the way off the trailer, it would at least be dragging behind it until you got off the road and you wouldn't have it go sailing down a street or potentially into another car. Okay, let's talk about the ratchet strap. This is the action end. This is the ratchet. I've got my strap going over my cargo. I've got the hook on the rub rail like, like I showed you before, and I've got my strap. These straps have a line on them, just about all of them. This one has a red line, the other side does not. I'm going to put it with the red line up. Also, the writing is up on there. This ratchet, as you can see, has a center bar in here. If that center bar is not lined up, you pull up on the ratchet, and you can ratchet it until it is up, okay? Here I've got the hook on the bottom. I want that facing my cargo. I'm gonna pull up on the handle and close the ratchet. I'm then gonna take my strap, making sure there's no twists in it and keeping that red line up. I'm going to feed it right through the center here and pull all the slack through. Now I'm going to hook this rub rail, hold my strap up, I'm going to pull down again to release the ratchet, and I'm going to tighten it until the load is secure. Th then you can pull this and lay it back down for safekeeping. That first part on how to use the ratchet strap is kind of the basics. Most people know how to do that. Maybe not in that same order, but one way or another, you get it to work. You might be feeding something back through, flipping something over, putting it on backwards, it'll even work most of the time. This is the part that gets everyone, is what to do with this slack. There's a whole bunch of it here. So throwing it back over the load, tying it down, using it to secure something else. You could even put another strap, um, excuse me, another ratchet, on here and use this strap to go over and secure something else. Most of the time you just got to find something to do with it. So we're going to pull this back. Again, keeping the red stripe up so that there's no twists in it. We're going to fold this over and make just a small loop. 
right like that. Nothing big with the strap in here. You're going to put both hands in it and you're going to easily roll it up. We're going to leave about three foot, maybe three and a half foot, almost four feet in this. We're going to reach through, grab the strap, pull it back, and then we're going to pull it over. It's probably hard to see. You could slow it down and zoom in and tighten it up. Okay, that leaves us this nice loop. This would not be a good way to drive with it rolling around, but as you can see, it's pretty solid. It won't come undone. So I'm going to follow me here. Hopefully you can see this. Push some of the slack back through here so that I have a loop going through. Let me, I'm going to grab the camera here so you guys can see this a little better. Okay. So you can see, I've just taken some of the slack here and I've just pushed it through. I'm going to bring this inside, just hang that loop over it, and I'm going to roll it until it's all twisted up. See that gets bunched under there a little. Just keep rolling, give it a little tug, a little push, and twist it up. Yes! And that's it. Won't go anywhere. It's nice when you're ready to get it undone. You're just going to untwist it, pull it back through. I can remember how I did it. Undo your knot. Pull this up to unload it and pull on this. If this is not straight up like this, there is another ratchet down here. You really need to do both of them to pull your ratchet undone. So anyways, it's not really that tricky once you, once you get it done. Practice a little bit, do a couple of them and it'll become second nature. Hey guys, thanks for watching my little video. I know this is probably not the most interesting thing for those of you who never have any need for ratchet straps. Let me know in the comments below if you do find this kind of thing interesting. If you don't, I'm sure you'll let me know as well. Um, this stuff's not necessary, but it's pretty cool. It'll at least make you look like the cool guy when you're at Home Depot in front of the guys at the forklift that you know how to secure your load. Uh, you won't be that guy with the bailing twine trying to put the uh, drywall on top of your Hyundai. So, uh, Anyways, again, thanks for watching. Take it easy. And this end is still sitting with the strap through the, the buckle. Except that it's upside down. <laughs>